Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Buffaloed, released in the year 2019. The movie begins with a girl named Peg running and looking for someone angrily. The scene then shifts to her childhood, where she's giving a presentation to her mother about opening a company called Peg Incorporated. During her presentation, we get to know that her father is no more and has left a lot of debt to be cleared. She asks her mother for an investment of $1,000 into her company so that they never have to think twice before eating good food and wearing good clothes. However, her mother Kathy, who runs a salon, declines the offer as she isn't doing well financially. Peg has been extremely enthusiastic about earning money from an early age. She wants to learn ways to earn huge sums of money to get financial freedom. She also dreams of joining an Ivy League school and later entering Wall Street to earn a huge amount of money and inspire others. In the next scene, a grown-up Peg tries to sell cigarettes on her school premises with her brother, JJ. When she reaches home, she starts collecting and counting her money. JJ provides her with a box printed with Peg Inc. to keep her money safe. Meanwhile, Kathy runs into her room to inform her that she's been selected for a fancy college for her further studies. Peg gets happy for a moment, but when she reads the letter, she finds out that the tuition fee is above their budget. Out of nowhere, Peg asks JJ about where he printed the graphic in her box. In the next scene, we see Peg selling fake tickets for a tournament. At the end of the day, she gets arrested by the police and is sentenced to 40 months for the fraud. Despite being inside prison, she does not give up her attitude of wanting to earn more. She finds out about what is lacking in the prison and starts selling it to people. She also bribes the officers with a 50% cut so that she can continue her business. While inside the prison, she calls her mother and gets to know that the debt collectors are frequently calling them. She's also informed that her brother has opened a bar and works there for 14 hours. Because of her good relations with the officers, she's released earlier than her sentenced punishment. When she returns home, she is proposed to work at her brother's bar as a janitor. Pissed off with her work, she fights with her brother. Later, she answers a call from one of the debt collectors, Sal, who informs her that her debt of more than $29,000 can be reduced to $5,000 if she pays it soon. Listening to this, Peg advises Sal about his wrong ways of collecting debts and nearly persuades him to erase her debt. She then extracts the information that Sal is making a 10% cut on every debt he collects. In the following scene, Peg can be seen at Sal's office looking for his boss. His boss, Wiz, self-claimed smartest in the business, shows Peg his office and explains to her how the commission works. Peg then offers him a deal that if she makes it to the top of the board of the employees collecting the largest amount, her debt must be cleared. Interested by her commitment, Wiz accepts her deal. Shortly after, he fires one of his employees and offers the seat to Peg. Making her first call as a debt collector, Peg calls a high school student named Big D, who has a debt of around $5,000. When he refuses to pay the debt, she threatens him to pay or else she will take it from his mother. Because of this, Big D agrees to pay and Peg closes her first deal. With her unique way of convincing people and persuading them to pay their debts, Peg becomes one of the most successful debt collectors of the week by collecting the highest amount of debt in the company. Later, she is supplied with a debt slip that dates back to 1998. Peg is surprised to see the date, but Wiz tells her that debt never dies. She calls the concerned person and a lady named Barbara picks up. When Peg asks her to clear her late husband's debt, she refuses. As the amount is huge, Peg visits Barbara personally and persuades her to pay the debt, telling her that debt never dies and it will be transferred to her grandchildren. Successfully, she persuades her to pay $20,000. Afterward, we see Peg in her brother's bar along with Wiz and his friends. She asks him for her 10% cut, and there Wiz discloses that they had already collected the debt from Barbara. But because of her weak memory, she forgets everything, and they continue to call her and collect as much debt as they can. After some time, Wiz hands her the $2,000 cut and asks her to stay close to him to get more profit and get better in the profession. Meanwhile, Graham approaches her and suggests she stay away from the debt collecting groups. He is the same lawyer who prosecuted her before. 
He informs her that they're soon going to investigate the debt collectors and warns her to be safe from trouble. Suddenly, Wiz's brother Mitch arrives and starts fighting with Wiz for calling his wife a twat. Seeing them fight, Peg decides to quit her job and start her own debt collecting firm. She flees the place with Graham and sleeps with him. The next morning, she wakes and lists her requirements to start a new debt collecting firm on her own. Graham tries to stop her and makes her understand that if she goes against the law, he will be the first one to sue her. At the same time, Kathy is at the door listening to them talk. Graham then greets Kathy and introduces himself as a lawyer. Kathy is very happy to see her daughter with a lawyer. After Graham leaves, Peg tells her mother that she's going to start a new business and she needs him. In the following scene, we see Peg asking for some money with JJ. After some time, she visits Mitch and compliments his wife for her ambrosia salad. When Mitch arrives, she makes a deal with him where he has to provide her with the debt slips for a 200% raise in money. However, Mitch makes it clear that Wiz will be pissed off with the deal and will make her life difficult. Despite the difficulties, Peg persuades Mitch to provide her with the slips. She then starts searching for debt collectors for her firm. Rather than contacting the ex-debt collectors, Peg believes in searching for natural persuaders who use their inborn talent. She collects people from various sectors like hookers, salesmen, ex-inmates, and many more. With her new employees, Peg goes on to search for a place for her office. For this, she convinces a salon owner to change her workspace setting to an office. After that, she makes them understand how debt collecting works. She also provides them with some attractive amounts in the commissions. Soon, her employees start collecting huge amounts of debts every day. Wiz's men torture them regularly by cutting off the power supply, chasing their employees, and making fun of Peg. Despite all the obstructions, they decide to stick to the laws and follow the legal rules. In the next scene, Peg asks Graham out for dinner, but he refuses to go, knowing that she is still running the firm. Soon, one of her employees approaches her and informs her that when she ran through the accounts, she found the money they have is insufficient to pay the employees and to buy new debt slips. Listening to this, Peg makes a plan and decides to use all the profits to buy new debt slips rather than paying her employees. She visits Mitch and hands him all of the money to buy new debt slips. When she returns, she explains to her employees that she did all this to make it easier for them to earn more money and to help them get financial freedom. Her employees get angry at her, but she calms them by getting tickets to a Bills game. Peg takes all of her employees to see the game and tells them that they can eat whatever they want. Shortly after, she heads towards the bathroom where she's approached by an unknown man. The man hands her a paper where it is written that bitches accumulate blood, not debts. At the same time, someone throws a bucket full of blood on her. Soaked in blood, Peg heads towards the stadium to watch the game. There, she is reminded by one of her employees that there's no one in the office. Hearing this, she and her crew rush towards her office to find all of their debt slips stolen. Immediately, Peg decides to visit Wiz and finds him at her brother's bar. There, Wiz tells her that not only does he have her debt slips, but also her mom's. Because of this, he now has JJ's bar under his control. Next, we see Peg at her mother's salon asking her to do her hair. Assuming that her daughter is going to see the lawyer, she does it gracefully. After getting her makeup done, Peg leaves the salon and heads straight to Graham's office. There, she meets with Graham's secretary, Henrietta, and gives her a set of expensive whiskey. Graham gets out of his office and is surprised to see Peg, who tells him that she wants to talk for some time with him. Inside, Peg seduces him and asks him to send Henrietta away so that they can get romantic in the office. While Graham is out to tell Henrietta to go home, Peg makes a call to the police and gives them the information about Wiz. Shortly after, police officers approach Wiz's office and arrest him and his men. Two of Peg's employees also enter the office and take away his debt slips as well as the ones he had stolen. After that, they start making good money again, and this time, Peg pays her employees with their commissions. After some days, Wiz calls Peg and threatens her by saying that she has started a war, and he is planning something big for her. Listening to this, Peg becomes upset. Hence, one of her employees, Francis, hands her a gun for security reasons. 
Later that night, Peg takes JJ to a fancy restaurant for dinner and inquires with him about Wiz and his plans. After finding out that Peg brought him just to extract information, JJ gets angry and leaves the place. In the following scene, Graham is stalking outside Peg's house. Peg arrives at her house and enters to keep her money in the box. Before she can put the box inside, Kathy calls her to keep an eye on her boyfriend. Peg then approaches Graham and asks him why he's stalking her. Graham replies that he found out about Peg calling the police from his office to get Wiz arrested. On the other hand, Kathy invites Graham to have breakfast with them. While they're talking and having breakfast, JJ arrives there, injured. Kathy blames Peg for JJ's condition. All of a sudden, Graham finds a debt bill in the name of Barbara. He suspects that Peg has collected money from Barbara. In the meantime, Peg also pulls out a debt bill of Graham's and confronts him for being a hypocrite. Suddenly, police officers arrive there and arrest Kathy and JJ. While inquiring, it turns out that Wiz has sent police to arrest them. Enraged, Peg rushes towards Wiz, holding the gun that Francis gave him before. The scene is the same one from the beginning of the movie. She reaches in front of his office and fires some shots in the air. When Wiz comes out, the two fight with each other. Police arrive there and arrest Peg for the offense of violence. Later, she's bailed by Graham, who asks her to work for him. After that, Peg tells one of her employees to call all the debt collecting firms at JJ's bar for a gathering. She wants to convince them that they have the potential to make a huge amount of money if they work together. After that, we see all of the debt collectors at JJ's bar watching the Bills game. Meanwhile, Peg charges in and gives a remarkable speech, asking them to unite with each other and earn a huge amount of money together. She proposes Wiz to be in charge of the group, and everyone confesses their deeds. All of a sudden, Wiz feels something fishy and checks around to find a hidden camera that has recorded all of their confessions. Police officers also arrive there and arrest every single one of them. Peg, however, escapes from the place and meets up with her employees outside. Afterward, Peg heads towards Graham's office and asks Henrietta to prepare for a party. She then enters Graham's cabin and searches for the debt bills. She collects all of the bills worth $1 billion and sets them on fire. Peg is then arrested and sent to jail. However, she gets a short sentence as she also destroyed the jury's debt bill. Inside the prison, she spends her time teaching the ladies there about financial freedom. Soon, her sentence is over and she gets out of prison. At her home, she is welcomed by her family and her friends. She confesses to them that she loves them all and is very lucky to have them by her side. She is touched when everyone present there provides her with some amount of money for her new idea. Seeing this, Peg immediately rushes towards the bathroom and comes out with another brilliant idea to earn more money, called hedge funds. That was all from the video, I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.